along this whole journey, there's going to be a series of hurdles to overcome, but the reality of having cancer and just having that shock of knowing it was the initial hurdle. Having to tell her it was just excruciating. My research focuses on understanding how does cancer develop. Can we then look at new ways of targeting it? Can we find ways to be able to use less chemotherapy but make it more potent? Can we find ways to target it without using chemotherapy? Can we find ways to reprogram a cancer cell to become a normal cell? There is nothing like hearing your child has cancer, but then there is nothing like hearing your child has cancer again. And then, okay, we think this works. Oh, no, if it doesn't. Parenting a child that has cancer and is going through chemo is very difficult. Each person is a unique challenge. One patient may have more toxicity to their kidneys from a particular medication or may have a different reaction to it. And trying to adjust that to make it the best medication for killing their cancer, but preserving the rest of their organ functions so that once that cancer is gone, they can have a long and uncomplicated life after that. Having research is critical. It has had a huge impact on the advancement of research in this department and pushing it forward. I think it's vital that that continue and, and I think Children's Hospital in, in particular have done a fantastic job of reaching out to the community and making them understand the importance of research in the care of their patients. What happens in the lab is what allows what we do on the clinical side to progress and to become better and to provide better treatments and better care for their children. My hope for the research I'm doing, for the research that's going on in the Division of Oncology here um, and in the Department of Pediatrics as a whole is that we find the best ways to understand why kids get these cancers or other diseases that they have and then the absolute best treatments for them so that they're not dealing with the idea that this is going to come back again and what do I do in that case and I don't want to see another family lose a child too early. They should long outlive their parents and I think that's all of our goals.